Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I have a long overdue subscriber requested video. So I was asked to talk about office friendly fragrances. It's been a while ago. I'm just now finally getting around to um, filming this one. So yeah, I've got 10 fragrances here that I think would make amazing office scents. Usually when it comes to office scents, I try to stick to fragrances that are um, not super loud. Fragrances that aren't going to be too complex, too uh, project too much, that are going to be, I don't know, fragrances that could get annoying to somebody else. I try to steer clear of really heavy fragrances. I think florals are great for this category because most people really enjoy um, a floral as long as it's not too heavy or too intense. So anyways, I've got 10 fragrances here. I think these would make amazing office scents and I'm gonna jump right in. Cold. Okay, so the first one I pulled and I think this is an, that I think would make an amazing office scent is this one here from Juicy Couture. This is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Um, this is a fragrance that I used to wear to work a lot because it is so easy breezy, so inoffensive. It's one of those really light, fresh florals. It's not overly sweet at all. It's almost got that kind of fresh cucumbery vibe to it. It's got a beautiful wateriness to it. And I really do, I almost get like a cucumber but it doesn't have any kind of cucumber or anything like that in it, but you almost get that really fresh, like watery, crisp, like cucumbery floral. Again, not too sweet. I used to get a lot of compliments on this because this is one that, this is one of those fragrances that you're just gonna smell good. You're not gonna be overly perfumey. Um, it's not gonna bother anybody. It's not, it's a floral that's really fresh and and bright and uplifting. Um, it's not too sweet, it's not overbearing, it's just, it's perfect. And I love it for its longevity. Like I said before, I used to wear this one to work a lot because it would get me through an entire work day. I could get a good eight hours out of this scent. Um, and it was really, really easy, like just an easy fragrance. So yeah, I think this one would make an amazing office scent. So that is the first one, that is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Okay, this next one, I talk about this fragrance a lot, but for good reason. It's an amazing scent. It is super affordable, it performs so well, and I think that you couldn't find a better office fragrance than this, in my opinion, especially for the price. This is Jennifer Lopez Still, and this is, it's like a sweet, skin-like, slightly floral tea fragrance. It's got an Earl Grey tea note in it. It's got some really light, sweet, um, really inoffensive florals. And it's got a beautiful, clean, skin-like quality to it. It is fantastic. I don't think you could beat this as far as an office scent goes. It is completely inoffensive. Um, it smells like sweet, clean skin. And this would be one of those scents that people would be able to tell that you're wearing perfume, but it's not an overbearing perfume. It's not a perfumey perfume. You will just smell incredible. Um, this is a perfect everyday scent. I think this would make an amazing signature scent, um, but a perfect office scent. I didn't have, I don't think I had this fragrance for very long when I was still working a full-time job, but um, if I had this fragrance, I would have reached for this all of the time because again, it lasts forever. I can get a good eight to 10 hours out of this and it's perfect. It's just perfect. And you can find, you can usually find bottles of this, um, like smaller bottles for in the, I don't know, 12 to $15 range. It's so affordable and just such a good one. So that is the second one. That is Jennifer Lopez Still. Okay, this is another fragrance that I talk about. I feel like a lot, but I also feel like this is the perfect office scent. Yeah, I just think it's a perfect office scent. This is a fragrance from Lanvin and this is called Jean Lanvin. And this is, oh my gosh, this is bright, clean, sparkling 
berries. It's a little bit floral, but again, kind of nondescript, really inoffensive, clean berries and floral. It is fantastic. It's such a good scent. I used to wear this one a lot too, and I always got compliments on this one too because it's one of those scents that is just gonna be enjoyable for people to smell. You're just gonna smell good. Again, just really fresh and perfect, not too overbearing, not too overly floral, not too perfumey, um, just perfect. It's just a perfect office scent. And this one lasts a pretty long time too. Um, it's not quite as long lasting as some of the others that I've got on this list. Um, I can usually get about six hours out of this fragrance before I would need to reapply it, but um, I think it's long. I think it lasts long enough that it will get you through the majority of your work day. Um, absolutely love this one. Cannot recommend it enough. Super affordable and just a perfect office scent. So anyways, that is Jean Lonvin from Lonvin. Okay, next, this is a floral, and this to me is a perfect floral. It is an absolute beast, and I think it would make an amazing um, office scent if you're looking for something that is predominantly floral. This is Burberry Weekend from Burberry, um, specifically the newer formulation. The older formulation is, the older formulation is um, sweeter and not quite as fresh as this one. The newer formulation is perfection though. Yeah, this is perfect. This is clean, slightly sweet florals. And again, the newer formulation because this one's a lot fresher. Um, the old formulation has a little bit of a syrupiness to it that I think could get kind of sickening for some people. But this one, this one is just perfect. It's clean, light, fresh, very slightly sweet, really classy and classic smelling floral. So if you're looking for like a predominantly floral perfume, um, I think this would be an amazing one. And this is an absolute monster. You're gonna get a good eight to 10 hours out of this, probably longer. Um, this is another one. If I had had this when I was still working, I would have worn it a lot because um, it's a perfect, easy to reach for floral for the office. So anyways, that is Burberry Weekend, the new formulation, and also the EDP. I don't know if there's an EDT to this or not, but this is an EDP. Okay, this next one, this is for my people who like their kind of 90s, early 2000s smelling florals. Um, this is a fragrance from Vicky Teal, and this is called Cyrene, and this reminds me a lot of Lalique Lalique or Kenzo Eau de Lumiere, Kenzo Flower Eau de Lumiere. It's similar to both of those, so if you like fragrances like that, this is amazing. Um, it smells kind of, I don't wanna say vintagey because it's not like, it's not like vintagey, but it definitely has that kind of late 90s, early 2000s smell to it. This one's a little bit more perfumey than a lot of the others on this list, but it's still perfection. It's it's kind of like a slightly perfumey, light, easy, crisp, just easy to reach for floral. It's also got like some clean musk in the base. So you have a really easy, like a, a really easy to reach for kind of early 2000s smelling floral, but with a really beautiful clean musk in the base. It's gorgeous. I love this. It's super affordable and uh, because of the cleanliness of this one, because of the kind of skin musk quality of this one, I just think it would be an amazing office scent. Um, it's one you're just going to smell good and nobody is going to, and you're not going to smell like early 2000s either. It doesn't smell dated at all. It smells, um, it smells super modern. Yeah, I love this one. So anyways, that is Vicky Teal Cyrene. Okay, next we have a Dua fragrance and this is one of their original creations. This is called Her Shyness and this is for those of you that wanna smell a little bit more youthful. You don't really wanna smell overly floral. You don't want a gourmand, but you want something kind of in between. 
that's what this is. This is kind of like a, it's a sweet, yummy, gourmand floral. It's really youthful smelling. It smells really modern, really, just, uh, just really good and delicious. This is the only like, yeah, this is the only gourmand leaning fragrance that I put on this list because I don't think that gourmands are for everybody. And I think that gourmands can be bothersome to other people around you. This one I don't think would be though. This has a beautiful like gourmand sweetness, but it's got a, it's got a really gorgeous uh, freshness to it. Really youthful smelling. I absolutely adore this scent. This is one that when I run out of my travel spray, I will definitely buy a full bottle of. Um, it's an easy, easy to reach for fragrance and it leans gourmand and it's just, oof, it's stunning. And I think it would make a great office scent. So anyways, that one is called Her Shyness from Dua. This next one, this is, out of all of the musk fragrances that I've got on this list, or no, out of all of the musk fragrances that I have in my collection, this is the one that I would recommend for an office scent. Um, I would also recommend Lake and Sky 1111, but that one is a little bit pricey. I think it's like $48 or $49 for a 10 mil oil roller. Um, this is Smells Like a Stero, and this one is only like, it's less than $14 for this 10 mil roller ball. And I love this, like you cannot go wrong. If you want a uh, kind of sweet, fresh, skin-like musk, you cannot go wrong with this one. This is incredible. This is like an Egyptian white musk, but it's got a beautiful, clean sweetness to it. It's perfect. It's like clean skin, and it's kind of like a modern smelling white musk. It's fantastic. For the price, you cannot go wrong with this. It is a perfect scent, like perfection. It would be amazing for the office and it's super affordable. In fact, I think that's that this, this is gonna end up being an affordable office scents break, uh, video because I tried to pull things that were super affordable and readily available for people. Um, and all of these scents are. So anyways, yeah, super affordable, perfect office scent. I think it's amazing. So anyways, that is smells like a sterile. Next, this one, um, I think this is pretty affordable if you can find it on FragranceNet. This is a more like, this is a really classy office scent. Um, this is for those of you that want something that is a little bit more of like a Sheepra, but not a true Sheepra, because I think a true Sheepra could be bothersome to other people. But this is a, a kind of Sheepra leaning type fragrance without, that I think would not be bothersome to others. This is Chloe Nomad. And this can be worn any time of year. You can, I definitely usually pull this one out more towards the fall because it is, it is a really warm, um, I don't want to say heavy because it's not heavy, but it's like a really warm scent that just reminds me of fall, but this could be worn any time of year. This has got Mirabelle Plum. It's got some oak moss in the base. It's really, really classy smelling. This is for those of you that don't really want anything really floral or sweet. You just want something that's going to smell really, really nice, classy, expensive, but still light and office friendly. Something that still isn't gonna be annoying to people, um, isn't gonna project too, too much. Though this thing is a beast, you will smell like this for 12 plus hours. It lasts forever. I love the intense version of this one as well, but I think this is the more office friendly of the two for sure. Um, yeah, so I think this would be a great office scent for those of you that don't want anything floral, you don't want anything sweet, you don't want to smell super like a clean girl. Um, you just want to smell really warm and classy and elegant and, but also still approachable. It's a perfect scent. It's amazing. So anyways, that is Chloe Nomad. And then I also did pull Kenzo Flower Eau de Lumiere. This is similar to Vicky Teal Sirene, but this one smells a little bit more modern. And this doesn't have the really prominent musk in the base that Sirene has. This is more of just like a really clean, 
sweet, bright floral. This one's really, really unique. It does smell like other fragrances out there. It does remind me a lot of Lalique Lalique, um, but those are, but, and Vicky Teal Sirene, but they're all fragrances that you don't see um, talked about a whole bunch. So you're, you could go with any one of them and you're going to smell super unique and really beautiful. And these last forever, this fragrance, you're going to get a good eight, 10 hours out of it. Um, it lasts forever and yeah, it's different than Sirene in that it doesn't have that clean musk in it. This is more like just a sweet floral. It's not too perfumey either. And this one is really youthful smelling. Um, really, really beautiful. I just think it would make an amazing office scent. So anyways, that is Kenzo Flower Eau de Lumiere. Okay, and then last but not least, um, I picked Guess 1981 Indigo. Uh, this, my beautiful friend Jacqueline sent this to me. I think this would make an incredible office scent. This is for those of you that don't want anything floral, you don't want anything um, too sweet, you just want something easy, like easy to reach for where you're just gonna smell light and clean and maybe a touch woody. It's hard for me to smell this one because this is a really light, clean scent very, very inoffensive. This would even be good for like medical workers. Like if you're really not supposed to wear perfume or you can't wear heavy perfumes, this would be a perfect one. This is very light, very clean, very inoffensive. Um, it's just perfect. It's hard for me to smell right now because I've been spraying so many perfumes. I almost can't even smell this one, but I do love this. It's got a slight sweetness to it. It's a little bit skin-like. Um, this is a super inoffensive fragrance. I don't think anybody would dislike this perfume. I, it's just, it's so good. Light, airy, kind of slightly skin-like, a little bit sweet, a tiny bit woody. It's just, it's perfection. Very, very affordable. Again, you can get this huge bottle for a really, really good price, probably under $20. Um, and yeah, just an easy to reach for, great everyday office scent. Now this one I don't think is gonna get you through your entire work day, so this would be one that you maybe need to decant and bring like a little atomizer in your purse with you um, or buy a smaller bottle and carry it with you because I think you would need to refresh this in the middle of the day. Um, this is the only scent on this list that I feel like you would need to refresh, but it's such a good scent and it's such a perfect office scent that I wouldn't have felt good leaving it off this list. Um, so anyways, that is Guess 1981 Indigo. So anyways, guys, those are 10 fragrances that I think would make amazing office scents. Let me know if you want a part two to this. I can always do part twos to most of my videos um, if you want to see some more scents that I have that I think would make amazing office scents. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.